Y'all ready to blaze away or what? I set my expectations high going into this event because I looked at what they did at GamesCon, the major reveals that they had there, and I was like, they're gonna do something massive here. A lot of the things wasn't even considered a reveal, but it still was new material and it sent shockwaves around. We got so much new gameplay. Aquafina, Raven, Feng Wei. Don't even get me started on all of the different customization presets and outfits that they showcase. Lily was trending, Kazuya was trending, his old school outfit with the redesigned pants, fire, in my opinion one of the best outfits that they showcase. And I would also say Lily too, this design concept art was something that you see fly around the Tekken subreddit quite a bit and it seems like the Tekken developers caught on to that. This was shown to us in some footage as well, Asuka's design, Aquafina's design, Design, Raven's old designs. This is really cool just seeing how deep in the customizations they're going. For characters who aren't in the game or haven't been revealed yet, you can only imagine what outfits they're going to do for those characters when they arrive. They brought back Nina's wedding dress from Tekken 7, Haran's outfit from Tekken 7, Asuka Tekken 5, Lily Tekken 7. They really went above and beyond and this is just a couple of characters they're showcasing. Another thing that was very unexpected that happened today, Tekken 8 age rating has been updated. In Korea, the age rating that was given out was for 15 and up, but generally the game is going to be rated T for teen. All of the little 13 year old Tommies out there, when they get a hold of Aquafina and the customization, their minds will be blown. The three things that determine this age rating is suggestive themes, violence, and language. Go f yourself, Kazuya. Oh, shut your b ass up. You're a piece of shit. I f your mother. Before the game releases, we gotta get past the beta. The beta is less than one month away, October 20th. We're approaching that bad boy fast. Within that, there's gonna be 19 playable characters, six stages, and then there's also going to be the Tekken Lounge. It's interesting. When we first heard some of these concepts, we were turned off by the idea. They showed us what the mode really is and really can do. There's a lot more secrets to be unveiled, but it just completely had a 180 on so many different players minds and opinions kind of the same thing happened with a character aquafina i just think it's interesting how they show us something the initial reaction is kind of mixed but once we learn more a lot more people seem to like it the same can be said for the heat system when it was first unveiled i don't know if there's like some kind of communication barrier between us and the developers where they say something we have a negative reaction and then once we see it we like it or if it's just a loud minority who controls the conversation. Meanwhile, the majority is just silent and happy. While we ponder on that, let's continue with the discoveries and the announcements that was made on the final couple of days of Tokyo Game Show. One thing that was discovered on Reddit and also someone uh, put together a collage of pictures and they sent it to me on Twitter. Thank you to that person, you know who you are. We have about 10 images here. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of the rain stage and also the story mode cutscene. I also made a side-by-side -side compilation. I uploaded that video, you guys can check it out. But it shows how these two are very similar at points. Cause the emission was standing up, Jen doing his rage art. Why are these two so similar? This is the question that I was asking and not because I was criticizing the developer. I just thought this was something interesting. There's a person on Twitter, Kilo is their name. This person discovered animations within the game that explains this whole entire thing. I could be wrong, but it seems like this animation was created specifically to demonstrate the game, I'll say. This animation was both both applied to the story and also the rain stage just to show off the lighting, the characters, the graphics, the story. But this animation is not the real animation for neither, I believe. I think the rain animation will see a totally different set of battle and animation and stuff play out. And then also for the story. I think this is something that they're using just as a demonstration for individual moments that represent story or trailers or something. But this isn't the actual Actual. A example that I could give is God of War. God of War pulls trickery like this a lot. In the trailer for God of War 2017, they had a giant troll hit Kratos and launch him over the house. In the game itself, that was bolder. I think Tekken is just incorporating some of those ideas. Let's show a trailer that has to do with story, but let's not actually show the story. I could be wrong in making this assumption, but it seems like with these two things sharing the animations and the animations being 
being found in the game. It seems like that's what they're going with. And that's cool because they're saving the surprise for later. I know a lot of people are worried about spoilers and you can see here that the developers is aware of that and are trying to make the game itself something that can be experienced even if you are following along with every trailer. That was a lot to explain. I don't know if I explained it properly, but let's move on. You have a new KO animation with Tekken. This caught a lot of players' attention and it looks actually pretty fantastic. I think Tekken has been needing this for a very long time. Briefly touching on the topic of esports, Arsenal and Ash has been nominated Esports Controller Player of the Year Award. Now on the topic of Arsenal, the developers also brings up his name quite a lot. And what I'm referring to is the Super Ghost AI. I play Yoshimitsu. This is a very flowchart heavy character and sometimes you can get so caught up in a flowchart and you can't pull yourself out of it. AI will learn that, will understand that, but then I wonder how they will help you break that mental roadblock you're at. This is something that's really never been achieved before in any other Tekken and also fighting game. What they explained to us in my replay and tips, how you're able to revisit old matches, pause in different instances where you made a mistake, maybe the opponent made a mistake, you can take control in that moment and you can play out the battle and see a different scenario. This reminds me so much of what chess.com also offers. For those of you who are familiar, you guys understand how you can go back and you can see which moves you should have done, play out that move and see where it goes. Just seeing the way that chess.com implements this assist helping feature, I don't know what it's called, and that helps players actually understand their mistakes Knowing that Tekken is putting something like that into their game is just simply fantastic and I love it. The final thing that I have to acknowledge at the end is the lack of character announcements. Even though they did Fang and Panda, people were not satisfied. This tweet from Harada sent shockwaves. This is not a character announcement today. A lot of players was hoping that on the final day, maybe there would be a character announcement. We were watching streams in Japanese. We were watching all kinds of stuff looking for one, at least one character announcement, but it never came. They have six characters that is yet to be revealed to complete the 36 character roster. They did not announce those characters here. And now I'm starting to wonder, well, where will they announce these characters? Will they announce some of these characters leading up to the beta? Will they announce these characters after the beta? There's six of them left. It's something that I do want to highlight if you saw the leaks. These last few characters to be announced is very integral to the story. So maybe these characters will be revealed in a story trailer of sorts. What are at sometime in between October, November, the beta, or maybe it's in the game awards. The game is about four months away. Me personally though, I am very patient. Everything they've shown me so far has been fantastic and I can wait for a Yoshi trailer, a Dragon Off, a whoever else trailer because I know once it's shown, it's going to be fantastic. So me personally, I enjoy everything that they showed off at Tokyo Game Show, at GamesCon, and this whole year. I'm looking forward to what comes next. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and bye bye.